Revelation 4147, from the 18th of October 1947. Gift of receiving remains, gift of teaching can be withdrawn. Only rarely can I express myself in such a way that a regular transmission of my word to earth takes place through the will of a person who is at my service. Only rarely is such a connection established which not only produces mental results but also results in written notes which can be made available to fellow human beings. And only rarely, therefore, is there the possibility of giving people enlightenment and answering every spiritual question. It is a connection between heaven and earth, between me and people, which obviously has an effect as a sign that an informal contact with me is possible and that it evidently results in the conveyance of my word. And therefore it is understandable that I will never dissolve such a connection but that I will favor it and lovingly look after the person who establishes this connection with me and that I will help him in every way to find his way on earth with regard to both earthly and spiritual matters so as not to lose him, because a great task awaits him which can only be carried out by such a person that is completely devoted to me and therefore also sinless, so that my spirit can express itself through him. Anyone who is active for me need never fear that this gift of grace will be withdrawn from him because once he is in close contact with me he cannot go so far astray that he makes the working of the spirit in him impossible. He will not deliberately disobey me, he will consult me in every matter of human life and thus never need to do without my word, because he can never become so unfaithful to me that he consciously resists me. Yet I can certainly withdraw from him the gift to enlighten his fellow human being if he makes himself unworthy of my instruction. For the extent to which the deeper knowledge is comprehensible to the fellow human being depends on the way the transmission is rendered. And thus the recipient can very well keep the gift of receiving divine wisdom and be constantly instructed with my full will. Yet the listener can remain little impressed and my gift of grace will pass him by completely ineffectively, and he will experience this state as agonizing and suffer but grasp every opportunity where he can feel my working of the spirit again and follow it. Amen.